So Caitlyn Jenner is pissed after Donald Trump tweeted his plans to ban transgender people from serving in the military yesterday. So just a few hours later, Caitlyn responded to the president saying, there are 15,000 patriotic transgender Americans in the U.S. military fighting for all of us. What happened to your promise to fight for them? And a few months ago, Caitlin posted this message to Trump after he removed guidelines that gave trans students the right to use any public bathroom. Finally, I have a message for President Trump from, well, one Republican to another. This is a disaster, and you can still fix it. You made a promise to protect the LGBTQ community. Call me. Caitlin, girl, you played yourself. These Republicans aren't trying to hear what you have to say, especially not Trump. You see, for 65 years of her life, Caitlin has been living in what I like to call rich white male privilege land. And after transitioning, she's just now getting a taste of what it's like to not only be a minority, but a double minority, a trans woman. So now she's discovering just how quickly her party is willing to turn on her, especially because, let's face it, they've never really been big on fighting for LGBTQ or women's rights in the past. I did vote for Trump, but here's the deal breaker with the Republican Party. And the deal breaker is, you mess with my community, I'm coming after you. Poor Caitlin. It must be hard realizing the man you voted for is a selfish dictator who could care less about the 15,000 trans people currently serving in the military. Hell, the only reason they even entertain you is because of your legacy and last name. On her website, Caitlin wrote, America's 15,000 trans service members and 134,000 veterans are much braver than you. Mr. Trump, my allegiance is with them and our country, not you. Well, I guess there's nothing like living on the other side of privilege to really put things into perspective. I'm Valeria Sistrunk, and for all the latest updates on politics and more, visit content.news.